So now let's head over to After Effects and bring in those, the rendered video, zombie to it, drop it to the timeline, and looks okay. Dynamics not too bad. And bring in uh, the original file as well because we're going to have to mask out some parts. That one. Boom. That's just much darker because we had put, um, we switched on the luminance channel and that um, looks much brighter. So we will have to adjust this by applying a levels effect. Bring in some more contrast and that looks a little better. And adjust the brightness and same thing with that layer, make it a little lighter some more contrast now when you toggle it on and off you can see there's some there's some seams going on with the shadows maybe because of our of our two uh, light sources so we're going to mask out the top layer with the mask tool just mask out your area and then hit the layer hit m and f and then set the mask feathering crank it all the way up until it looks okay and it's still too dark. So with the middle slider and the levels, you can adjust the brightness some more until it matches the, the bottom layer. And that looks better. All right. And now you can see, unfortunately, he's, he's walking out of our mask. And we have to, we're gonna have to animate the mask, so hit the stopwatch and the mask path and go to the frame where it's getting where it's getting closer to the mask set a keyframe there move forward and then adjust that mask point control click on on the canvas to deselect all the points so you can choose um, you can pick only one point all right that looks all right and then just a little more here and go back and now the problem is the zombie is moving to the mask so we're going to have to uh, take that back a little right about here and then give that another keyframe here one more here and all right, some poor rotoscoping going on here, but that will that will look okay. All right, and then adjust the brightness just a little more. Kind of looks good, and the rest will will be gone with color correction and and all that. So don't worry about that too much. Plus, the YouTube compression will eat up the rest. So. You're all set. Let's just adjust the gamma a little more so it matches because in motion you can you can tell that something's going on there. You might get away with the with a still frame, but in motion it's not gonna work. Alright, so let's add one more thing, uh, which is the pixel motion blur which will give um, the geometry some more realistic motion blur. But for some reason, the whole, the whole layer will brighten up a little. So we're gonna put both layers into a, um, a new composition. So hit Control, Shift, and C, and pre-compose all that, and then put the pixel motion blur effect on that. And looks good now. And when you play it back, um, you can see that it will get some nice motion blur. Now let's do some color correction, add an adjustment layer, and put a curves effect on it. Curves, boom. And then we will crank up the contrast a little. Let's just see what this does for us. And go to the red channel and fake some 
cross-processing to the green channel. Just play around with it until you're happy with the look. I'm not looking for something specific here, maybe film look kind of thing. Just play around with the blue channel as well. And some sort of fake cross-processing. No, oh, that's not, not going to work. Maybe like this. And, yeah, that looks okay. Alright, and now let's uh, go for some uh, quick, quick and dirty teal and orange. Uh, for that, we're going to use the color balance effect. And um, apply that. And then go to shadow red balance. And then... Uh, Set this to around minus 22, and then uh, play around with, let me see the highlight, red balance, maybe, maybe minus 29 on the shadow red balance, and the highlight red balance to 14. And that kind of looks like some fake teal and orange, some sort of a fake film look, quick and dirty, and apply another curves effect. Um, give it an S curve so you give it some more contrast. Now for the letterbox, add a solid layer. We're going to mask this out just like this. Um, I'm using the title save as a guide and um, this area will be seen. We'll just invert that, invert the mask and there you go with the letterbox. Simple. And now for the fake camera movement we will go in and move move this pre-composition around for that we will scale it up um, to 105 percent and uh, keyframe the position so click on the stopwatch bring this keyframe to the start and just move it around a little bit as if somebody was holding the camera. I did actually shoot this on a tripod. And if you add some fake camera movement, this looks like a fancy 3D track shot. If you hit the caps lock key, um, the canvas, canvas will not refresh. So you can move it around. All right. And caps lock again. So we can see what's going on. Put that to half resolution and then let's do a uh, RAM pre preview. All right, that doesn't look too bad. Some nice movement going on here. Dynamics look good. All right, now let's bring in, uh, as a last thing, let's bring in those sound effects. So go into that pre composition. Find the point where the shotgun is happening. Oh, um, yeah, we will add the muzzle flash, of course. So find that point and import the muzzle flash and the zombie sound effect and the shotgun sound effect. Muzzle flash, shotgun, zombie. Import. Let's first take this muzzle flash, drop it to the timeline. Bring that to the position and um, put it right at the right spot. All right. And bring the anchor point right at the tip of it to rotate it. And hit the W key so we can rotate it a little bit. So it points it to the right direction and scale it down just a little bit and now you can see it's going over the zombie and we're going to mask this out so it looks like it was half of it half of it will be um will be blocked by the zombie head so take the mask tool pen tool then mask out this area right at the all right and click on the layer Hit the M and the F key, and then put the feather to around 30. Yeah, that looks okay. Now, adjust the position, 
because you can see that muzzle flash for two frames. All right. Keyframe that position. Now let's do a RAM preview. And that looks, looks okay. It's just for, a, for one or two frames. You can't tell that that masking had to be done. All right. So now, as the last thing, let's bring in those sound effects. I've got a shotgun wave file here, right where, where he's shooting. The sound should be heard. All right, and the zombie sound. That's actually a let's twirl this open audio waveform. Now you can, that's the part where his death sound takes place. Yep. Match this to the shotgun sound and then bring down the audio level by five, minus five, minus five. And that should be good enough. Now let's do a ramp preview. All right. That looks okay. Let's go go back to that to the parent composition and um there's just not enough camera movement going on, so we're gonna we're gonna add in a couple of a couple of more keyframes here. Let's do a ramp preview here. And as you can see, there's just not enough movement. So we'll just go in and add a couple of keyframes. Some some more movements here. Maybe around here. Move it move it over right there right there again with the caps lock key the canvas is blocked from from refreshing so we can work faster all right and one more here that should that should be okay and after another ramp preview this looks much better Okay, so one last thing, we will select all those keyframes and add some, uh, some easing. So select the keyframes and go to Keyframe Assistant and Easy Ease. All right, and now that should be good enough to play out. Add to Render Queue and then uh, set to uh, QuickTime and to H.264, 100% quality, say OK. All right, now render this out. Check out part one of this tutorial here in Cinema 4D. Um, this is the epic Minecraft unboxing final video. Also, here's a tutorial about a, another scene out of this video, how I created that holographic scene. Check out uh, Doc's channel with the full-length unboxing video. And uh, if you like this video, please consider subscribing for uh, more videos to come. Um, visual effects heavy, um, entertaining videos. Thank you so much.